Shalom, shalom, let me get my camera square here. Shalom, shalom. Shalom to everybody on this Wednesday. I hope your day is going pretty good. Hope your week's going good. I know the world is a vexing place and there are many things that are running amok, but we do the best we can to get through it, right? By the will and grace of Yahushua Mashiach. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, I'm glad that you guys are joining me today. Or if you happen to be catching this video later on, because it's, uh, I go live, but you know what I mean? It goes on and then people can watch it, you know, whenever you want to watch it. So, um, I just wanted to just do, uh, this video will probably be a lot shorter than the ones that are going to be in the series, but this will be a, probably a four video part series where I'm going to get into the name of the creator. Um, I did this once before, but I thought it was, uh, something that, I, I felt I wanted to do again. Um, because I wanted to get back into the technical aspects of the language of Hebrew uh, and the Greek and the Latin so that way we can have a good understanding of why I keep saying this well, why I keep saying this name behind me Yahusha and why I say Yahusha not Yeshua and I say Yahua not Yehovah or Jehovah or you know Yehovah because there is no V no J and no E and I will, I'm going to demonstrate well I'm going to show you guys this within the Hebrew alphabet because a lot of people are curious about the Hebrew alphabet uh, to just to be clear there's no E F I J O V or W in the in the Hebrew alphabet just so you know there is those letters do not apply okay so and I'm gonna get into that a little bit okay but we're gonna try to keep it simple simple as we can so we all can have a good understanding now I'm gonna write a few things down on my chalk little uh, uh, little board I got here dry erase board actually let me try to get it in the frame there we go down here I have uh, already two Hebrew letters with the A and the L the Aleph and Lamed and I'm gonna that I'll, I'll be getting into why I put those down there but I'm, I'm gonna try to use that as best I can to write some of the stuff out that I'm trying to portray so you can actually see what I'm talking about but what we're gonna be talking about mostly is the Sinai autograph the covenant name okay the Sinai autograph the covenant name that's the Sinai that's it okay and it and it plainly reads oh let me get it in frame Yod Hey Ua Hey Yod Y O D Hey H A Y Ua U A U but it sounds like a two double O's like U U U not V not V V not Vav not V A V U A U the Vav was later put there by the Masorites so and then we have at the end we have hey so we have yod hey ua hey okay Sinai autograph okay and this is titled the name of the creator Yahua but we're gonna get into the name Yahusha just a little bit I'm just like I said this won't be a long video so just you know hope you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna, I just want to delve right into this so and by the way, I'll be reading from Fossilized Customs, a book by uh, uh, Lou White. Okay. Okay. The name of the creator, Yahuwah. Now we are going to investigate the real name of the creator. Okay. Now, according to Psalm 118, the name is the rock the builders rejected. And we know who that is, right? In Proverbs 18:17, the first to present his case seems right till another comes forward and questions him. In Proverbs 18:10, the name of Yahuwah is a strong tower 
the righteous run to it and are safe. Okay. Now, according to Yusuf, now this the first name is going to sound a little unfamiliar. The second name that I give for the same person is going to sound a lot more familiar. This gentleman's name is Yusuf Ben Amadith Yahu or Joseph Benjamin Matthew or you might know him as Flavius Josephus. These are the four vowels according to him and these I don't have to write down. You should be able to see these on the screen pretty clearly. There we go. Here's the Latin letters that we use in our English language so we can sound this out. Y-H-U-H. The numerical value. Then the name of the letter. Yod. Hey. Ua. Hey. Right? Let me get this a little closer. Then we have our ancient or paleo. And I'll get into what that word means, paleo. But ancient Hebrew. And then we have the modern Aramaic or block Hebrew. Modern Aramaic. This is what we speak today. But we understand this though today as well, the paleo, because we have all of the letters, all 22 of them. So, Hebrew is read from right to left. So, we see right here with Isaiah, we have Yasha, Yahu, Elisha. I hate doing it like this, sorry. Elisha or Alisha. See, the Aleph is the beginning. You don't see the A in right here or a letter E. You see the Aleph, okay? I know it's just a little bit blurry. I'm sorry about that. But Alisha, right? Then we have, and notice the Sha on the end here. Okay. Then we have Elishua, Alishua, right? With the Aleph at the beginning. And then we have Aliyahu or Elisha. And we have, right, once I said at the beginning, we have the Aleph as the first letter, then Lamed, and then so on and so forth. Now, the reason why I brought up this Sha, that's in Elisha, is because it, it is a, a Hebrew root for deliverance. It's from Yasha. And you see the three letters right here, Yod, and then, I forget what this one is, hold on. Yod, Shin, An. So we have Yod, Shin, and then An. Yoshin, An, Yasha. Okay? Now, by the way, the BYV translation restores the name. If you're interested, you can get one off of Amazon for 50 bucks for the leather bound or $40 for a paper copy for the BYMV with the restored names in, in it. So it doesn't have all the uh, the madness that we're about to go through today. Well, I wouldn't call it madness, just misunderstandings. You know, great misunderstandings. All right. Now, I think I can do this real quick. This should help a little bit. There we go. All right. Now, if you're looking to the, what should be the uh, right hand of your screen from where you're facing, my left, your left, okay, your left, I'm sorry. <laughs> we have the uh, card that says his name declares who he is. His name declares who he is, okay. Now, if you can see that the very first uh, name that we see under this the the title we worship what we know you see the name Yah U A Yah Y A H U A H okay Yah U A or in the Hebrew once again in the in the Hebrew lettering not the Latin lettering Yod He U A He okay the first four letters that you see right here. Then beneath them the, we have these five letters Yod, He, Ua, Shin, An 
which comes to ya, u, sh, and we just learned what sh was, remember? Yasha, remember? Yasha means deliverance, right? Sh, deliverance. Ya means I am. U is plural possessive, I am deliverance. I am your deliverer. So, we know this deliverance to be J-E-S-U-S or Yahusha, right? Right? This our Savior, the Messiah, right? And if you look at his name, the first three letters of his name are Yod He Ua. Just as we see in Yod He Ua He, he has the Yah or the Yahu, if you will, at the beginning of his name. He has the same name as the Father. But in this role, he plays the Deliverer. He's also played in the role of the Creator. Yahusha is the Creator. Remember, he is the Word as well. He is the Word. The spoken word of Yahuwah is Yahusha. So when Yahuwah speaks, that's Yahusha. Because Yahusha is the Word. Amen? Now these symbols are the original Hebrew letters of the name Yahuwah at the top right here, and then the name Yahusha at the bottom. Hebrew is read from right to left, and the first three letters of both use the same letters given the sound Yahu, as I just was talking about. Now, expressions like G-O-D, L-O-R-D. As a matter of, here, let's get back to me. Here we go. Okay. Now, expressions like G-O-D, L-O-R-D, Almighty, Eternal, Adonai, Hashem, which is what the, the Jewish people use, or Creator are not personal names. Everyone who defends the use of these expressions uses the excuse that we are speaking English and these terms we are familiar with our translations. Most of these words are not originally English. The term G-O-D was never used to refer to the true creator until Christianity went into the Norse areas in the 6th century C.E. Alright, so it started like this. In the Norse lands. Very simple. That's in the Norse tongue. And that's what it always was. And then later you get to... And this is, this is exactly where it stems from right here. That's where we get the terminology and the word from. From the Norse got... Alright, and the original Hebrew pronouns commonly translated as G-O-D in our English are, and I'm going to write them down, A-L, A-L-I, A-L-A-H, and I've went over this before, Allah, or A-L-A-H-I-M, Allahim. So, the original Hebrew pronouns commonly translated as G-O-D in our English are A-L, A-L-I, A-L-A-H, or A-L-A-H-I-M, Alechim. The Hebrew pronoun all, A-L, conveys, and you can see this in the beginning of, well, in the beginning of each word. Look, A-L, 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 Aleph Lamed, Aleph Lamed, Aleph Lamed, Aleph Lamed, oh, Aleph Lamed, okay? The Hebrew pronoun Al conveys the meaning of, op, uh, excuse me, upward, lofty, strength, 
mighty one, high one, awesome one. The root being spelled Aleph Lamed, and that's where I got to, oh, right there, Aleph Lamed, and those are the two paleo letters, Aleph being the first there, and then Lamed, Aleph Lamed, right? So we see this prominent in that. This is describing a being of infinite power. It's describing a being of infinite power. Now the pagan deities never became angry or pleased because they simply aren't there. These Hebrew terms express what pronoun our creator is, but not used as his personal name. He has a name and only one name. Acts chapter 4 verse 12. And there is no deliverance in anyone else, and there is no other name under the heaven given among men by which we need to be delivered. That name has been revealed, Yahusha HaMashiach. That means our deliverance, the Messiah. Now, adjectives attached to his name may modify it, causing people to think he has more than one name. Look up Yahweh in any encyclopedia. Yahweh is one attempt to sound the name using English letters originating from four Paleo-Hebrew vowels. So, let's put it up on the board. That's how people say it, or Yahweh with a V, which there's no V. Remember, there's no E and there's no W. We just, we just talked about this, about the Hebrew language. We know this, okay? I have all 22 letters. Start at Psalm 118. You'll see all 22 letters, if I'm not mistaken, or Psalm 119. They start with the Hebrew alphabet, okay? Now, they pronounce it like this, Yahweh. And what they're trying to derive that from is the four paleo letters that we just learned about. That's why I got an eraser. Okay, so we just learned that that is how you say it, yod he ua he, right? yod he ua he, not Yahweh. We know how to say it, yod he ua he, and this translates into, if you want to use Latin letters, that those are the letters that you use. Y-A-H-U-H, -H, not Y-A-H-W-E-H. -H. That would be incorrect. It's yod he ua he Yahuwah. Check your NIV or your King James preface and see they admit removing the name. Not all King James will has that in the beginning, but some do, but your NIV definitely has it where they admit removing the name. Now you're saying, well, what's this paleo you're talking about? Okay, paleo. Paleo, or there's the other uh, spelling for it, paleo. Paleo or something like that. But it really what it means is ancient in Greek. That's what paleo means. 
the Hebrew word for ancient is atik. That's the Hebrew word for ancient, atik. It's where we get the word antique from, where we get the word antique. Remember, the letters are written from right to left in the original script, like I showed you. As I'm, as I'm drawing them, okay, I'm going right to left, okay? Right to left. And that's how it's read as well. Okay? Now the letters, like I said, are written from right to left in this original script. We call it Hebrew. It's from one of Shem's descendants whose name was Eber. Check Genesis 10. It's called the Eberith language. A few generations later, Abram was born, the son of Terah, one of Eber's descendants. When Abraham's nephew, Lot, was carried off by an invading armies, the text says in Genesis 14, 13, one who had escaped came and informed Abram the Hebrew. Oh. Now, Hebrew is called the Lashan Kodesh. Lashan Kodesh. Or, if you'd like, set apart tongue. The set apart tongue. Lashan Kodesh in Hebrew means the set apart tongue. That's what we speak, Hebrew. Set apart tongue. It's what Yahuwah has always spoken to his people. Listen, I want to thank you guys for joining me. This was just an introductory video to more of these lessons that I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to get, be getting more into the letters, into the Ua, the Vav, and the Wa, and why we don't utilize that. Um, it'll be in our next lesson called, Is the Name of the Creator Lost? And that one's going to be a little bit longer of a lesson. Um, I'll show you in the Septuagint, not the Septuagint, but some Aramaic scriptures where they have the Paleo letters. Uh, the, I, if I'm not mistaken, the, actually the Septuagint has the ancient paleo letters and I'll try to make sure one of my uh, thumbnail videos has, uh, you can Google it, uh, paleo uh, uh, lettering in the Greek Septuagint and there's a bunch of different scientists and authors and stuff like that that uh, 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 went through it and found the original lettering, those four letters that I showed you. So I'm going to be going more into that. I don't want to say too much because there's a lot to cover. And uh, but it's fantastic information because it's all true. You know what I mean? And it backs up what I'm trying to talk about when I'm trying to talk about the true name. So listen, I want to thank you guys for joining me. Um, I love you guys with all my heart. You know, obviously, shalom, shalom. Um, if you have any questions about anything that I've said today, please feel free to uh, uh, join me on my live chats that I hold Friday night. And uh, uh, every Friday night uh, at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I don't know where that is in your time zone, but <laughs> Eastern Standard Time, 8 p.m. And uh, yeah, and I throw a Google Hangout link out there. And all you have to do is have Google Hangouts. If you don't, download Google Hangouts. And uh, I throw the link out there. You guys click on the link. You jump right in. And uh, we go from there, you know. And you can talk to me live about whatever I've said on my program or discuss or anything about the Bible or spiritual things. Like, that's what I like talking about. So you're more than welcome to come by. Um, real quick, I want to thank uh, John McClure. There's uh, Shamuat Bashan, Yosh Yaz RL, Skyler, how's it going, Bubba? And Majid, I'm glad you guys stopped in. And to anybody who winds up uh, watching this video, you know, share it with everybody. Get the information out there. His name is Yahua, and then we have, it, which is the father, and we have his son Yahusha. Uh, which is the name that obviously is sitting right behind me. And that's what I always tell people to do. Google Yahusha. Google Yahusha and see what comes up. So anyways, I love you guys with all my heart. Like I said, don't forget that I'm going to be doing, 
If you want to learn more about what I'm talking about, the true name, t tune in every Wednesday. And I usually go on from 3 to 6 o'clock, it varies. But every Wednesday, and I come on, and I'm going to do more of this topic in particular. The next three or four videos are going to be about this topic in particular if you're curious and you want to join in on that. So, you know what I mean? It'll be out there for you guys. So, once again, I love you guys with all my heart. Shalom, shalom to all of you. And at the end of all my videos, I love to say, run to Yahusha.